Have you ever gone to the store and forgot you got everything you needed except for the one or mo the most important thing, and then when you got home, you thought you got it, but you didn't get it? Don't you hate it? It's like you think maybe somebody took it out of your bag, but, or you just never got it at all, but in your mind you thought you did. Well, that's what happened to this young couple. They needed things for their house, and they got there, and they went through the garden and they bought all the stuff they needed for their project that they were going to work on. But the most important thing they forgot was the wires. To complete the project, they needed wiring. They needed 18-gauge wiring so they could wire the project so it would work. You know, so electricity could flow between the speakers and so forth. They're putting together a home theater system. And, you know, you always have to have an entree is a sea of wires. Well, they got a, They had to have the wires, but they got everything else they needed, but they forgot to get that wire. So they sort of swore they got it. The dad was all excited. He got home, got everything out, put it all together. He reached in there and looked around for the wire and the veil. There was no 18-gauge wiring to be found, to be had. So he looked on his receipt. He said, I know I ordered this stuff. You know, I ordered this stuff, Sandy. I know I did, sweetie. Didn't we get it? She said, no, honey, I don't think so. Can I, well, let me look at the receipt. He swore he got it. But he looked on the receipt, and little veil, everything was on there but the wire. So out of his dismay, he had to go back to Walmart, drive through, five, go, drive through 35 minutes worth of rush hour traffic. You know how daunting that could be. <laughs> it was daunting. Because everybody was getting out of work. And everybody was going into work. It was like a freaking circus. At that time of day. Any time between the hours of 5 and 7 p.m. at night. It's always a circus. Uh, a lot of hustle and bustle going on. People getting off. People going in for the, the second shift of work. And people getting off to go home from the first shift. So. With all that being said. He rode through. 35 minutes of traffic, snarling traffic, bumper to bumper, got there, horns honking, smelling the exhaust, diesel engines, and so forth. Got to Walmart, went inside, and he got there where the wire was, and there was not enough wire. There was only one spool of it, and he needed three. So he had to go to another Walmart and travel for another hour so he could get the wire that he needed. What would have been easier is to call customer service, but I don't know about you, but I know when you call customer service, it's not always a fun experience when you call. Because sometimes you tell them what apartment you need, electronics department, to find out what wire you need, because that's the apartment you would need to find out that, because that's where they sell it at, for your speakers for a theater system. And they go and give you every other department under the sun but your department that you asked for. And then sometimes, if you get that department, they don't even... <laughs> They don't even pick up the phone, and it just ends up automatically going to some other department because that's the way they're set up. You know, they don't answer one, then they just go to all the others. So it just is aggravating. So he says, "Shoo, I'm not going to call them. I'm just going to go over there." So he goes over there. Forty-five minutes later, in addition to the other thirty-five he spent where he lives in his home town, and he goes and he gets the wires that he needs, the other two spools. So he gets home and he's so happy about. Over two hours later, you know, traveling and going through the registers and getting home and all that shopping time and all. And, you know, he gets in there and he realizes that he got the wrong size wire. He thought he had 18 gauge, but he got 16 gauge instead. Now you say, does it really matter to have one gauge for the other? No. But if you're going to use... If you're going to use a certain gauge, you should use that for all the speakers. If you're going to use 18 gauge wire, 20 gauge wire, you should use everything. Should use you should use the same wire for everything that you connect to it, as far as speakers goes. That way, there's no influx. If you know about wiring, electricity falls down a wire in a straight line, and it's just physics. And if you have something bigger or more current that's to flow through a bigger wire than a little smaller wire. Because all the atoms get pushed into a small wire around the copper, which electrifies when electricity arcs goes through it. 
And that's how electric travels over a wire. That's why when you touch a wire that's plugged into the wall, if it's not shorted out or anything, you don't get shocked because the wire underneath is where the electric stays. It's grounded, so it stays on that wire. And that's why when you can touch, it sort of it seems like magic when you touch the outside of a wire, it doesn't shock you because that's the reason why. Because it's grounded and it just falls through that wire. That's what electricity usually does. Usually as long as it's, you know, grounded. It'll fall through that sort of premise. So anyway, as you well know, so he was dismayed. He had to get back in the car again and yet go another 45 minutes to the other Walmart to get the same wire that he got from the first one. So by the time he got home another five hours, you know, all in all, total, he was tired of Bush. So he just said, I'll deal with this tomorrow. So he went to sleep, got up the next morning, earlier, or it's the weekend. And he was so excited, because he had the whole day off. They got out, he put it all together, and finally, he was able to listen to a surround sound when he watched a big movie on his 55-inch uh, flat screen TV. Hooked all run through the feed theater with HDS sound and surround and all the latest stuff, components. It sounded just like being in a regular big movie theater. And the picture was even probably better than a theater because sometimes you, a lot of times you get a real nice TV, it can look better than a theater where you go out. And it does. If it's really like 4K or something, it will look better than what you actually see in a lot of theaters where you actually go out to pay to watch a movie. So... That's what he did, and he was just so tickled to death. Boy, he was just happy. Yeah, He just was overjoyed. So you don't know what could happen when you go to a store. You never know. You could lose your mind. You could just lose your mind and all the rustle, bustle, rush, and dash to get there to get all the stuff you want. It could happen to you whether you're young or old. It doesn't matter because forgetfulness doesn't have no age barrier or age limit. So... You never know when you go to a store, you never know what would happen. This is what happens at a store when you're looking for something, trying to get something together. Hope you enjoyed this short little story. I love you. Take care and be kind and share. Take care for now. Uncle Mike. Bye.